In this video, we will explore the StyleSheet API, which allows us to style components in React Native. For this section on styling, I have created a new Expo project called Styling React Native. However, you can continue working on the same core components project from the previous section if you prefer to. Just ensure that you start with an empty app.js file to follow along. Let's start by quickly creating a component that will render some text. At the top, import view and text components from React Native. Default export a function called app, where we return a view with a text component that has the text stylesheet API. On the view component, I will add the style prop with flex set to one, so as to occupy the entire available space, a background color, and finally, padding. If we save the file and take a look at the two devices, we can see the expected UI. This approach uses inline styling, which we have already come across. Although inline styles work fine, they are not the recommended approach for styling in React Native. In fact, you will rarely find them in a code base. The preferred method is to use the StyleSheet API. Let me demonstrate how to use it by replacing the inline style. To begin, import the StyleSheet API from React Native. Next, below the app component, call the create method on the StyleSheet API. Assign the returned value to a constant called styles. As an argument to the create method, provide an object that contains key value pairs. You can choose any key name you want to, but it is recommended to give them semantic meaning. For example, I will name it container. The value should be an object containing key value pairs similar to CSS properties and values, but in JavaScript. In our case, we can extract the styles from the style prop and assign them to the container key. So cut the object and specify as the value to container. Now, for the style prop on the view component, specify styles dot container. You'll notice that autocomplete suggestions are provided. If we save the file, we can see that the UI remains the same as before, but this time we have styled our component using the StyleSheet API. So why should you choose the StyleSheet API over inline styles? Now there are a couple of reasons. First, by moving styles away from the render function, you make the code easier to read and understand. Second, naming the styles adds meaning to the low-level components in the render function. For example, you could create a title style and assign it to the text component as styles.title. This makes it clear that the view represents the container and the text represents the title for the screen. Finally, Organizing styles in this manner makes the code reusable and easier to maintain. Imagine having the same inline styles across multiple text components and you need to change the font size. You would have to update each component style individually. However, by grouping the styles using the StyleSheet API, you only need to change it once as the updated title style will be reflected across all components. It is also important to note that these styles can only be used within the same file. However, you do have the option to create a separate global styles file and export the styles object. You can then use it in any file throughout your code base. This allows for reusing the styles across different components and promoting consistency in your application's visual design. You might also be wondering what if you create a style object without using the StyleSheet API? 
Well, in that case, you won't have access to autocomplete suggestions. If I try add a margin, you can see we don't have any autocomplete. But the same with the style sheet API, we have access to those autocomplete suggestions. And trust me, in React Native, having the assistance is valuable since the property names are quite different from what you're used to in the browser. All right, I hope you now have a clear understanding of the two methods of styling React Native components, inline styles and the stylesheet API. The stylesheet API is the recommended approach as it promotes writing organized, easy to read and maintainable code. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.